Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Rose Cottage Acres. It is jacket weather. It's in October. Um, and we are getting ready to get the quail into their permanent housing. So the first thing I'm going to have to do with it... Oh, hi, Oliver. The first thing I'm going to have to do with it is I'm going to have to put smaller mesh on this bunny hutch. So this hutch came from one of the uh, Amish builders in our area and it's got the 1x2 mesh which is a little bit too large so I'm going to put either rat wire or half inch by one mesh on it and I'm also going to put a solid roof and then once I have this part into place and I also need to clean it out a little bit more it had bunnies in it for like a year um, after I get this part into place I'm going to bring the we'll other part over here by the sheds over and put them together. This part's going to have sand in the bottom, so it'll be their, their cozy spot. And then the part with the wire will hopefully help me cut down and having to do too much cleaning. It's actually a problem with the hutch when I had the bunnies in it too. It has a solid bottom on the wood, and I actually prefer to have a mesh bottom the whole way. And you can always put a litter box or a sand box or whatever in it. But I think the wood bottom makes it a little harder to clean out. Oliver got in a fight with somebody yesterday. I didn't see any visible signs of wounds or anything. But he still feels like his fur is all ruffled. He's supposed to stay in his own yard, buddy. He's got four acres. Yeah, he went, he went off into the woods or the neighbor's yard or somewhere. I heard him. Definitely another cat, not not a coyote or anything. And then when he came home, I looked at him as much as he lets me, and I didn't see anything visibly wrong, but he definitely was in a, a big fight, and his fur was all ruffled, and he's still kind of out of sorts this morning and sore, so I think he strained something fighting. So here we are. The quail house is ready to go. Not a moment too soon. Monday, these guys are going to be three weeks old. I can't believe it. So I'm going to be putting them out next week into here. Now what I have is the top. These are dividers that were between sections in a rabbit cage that I had bought. I had bought a nine hole rabbit cage and I wanted bigger spaces for my lot bunnies. So I took the dividers out and thought I'd repurpose them. So they're not pretty, but they're functional. They'll keep a lot of rain and snow off. I will probably put a tarp on it uh, for the winter when it's really a lot of snow and then the front and sides just mainly to keep snakes out because these spaces are pretty large I put a little bit of rat wire and because I may one day decide to turn it back into a bunny hutch I put zip ties on it and I had two very gross bunnies in here and, and they definitely were the spring kind of boy bunnies well they still are but uh, I brought them in the, and put them in the garage for the winter. So I'm going to use this for the quail at least all winter. And droppings can go down. I can clean under it pretty easy all, anytime I need to. And then in the hutch part, I'm going to put sand. And I'll be able to sift out the sand. So hopefully I can keep them nice and clean all winter while they're little and... Maybe not quite as sturdy as they would be next winter. And then in the spring, I would like to get them out into an aviary setting where they can really scratch around and still be completely secure from snakes or birds of prey because they're so small. It'd be a, a huge problem. But let them enjoy being birds. Um, I actually got these quails so that I can enjoy looking at them, not for meat or eggs. I have enough chickens for eggs and I don't eat a lot of meat I ate some I, I am a fan of bacon love fish and I, I eat some chicken I'm not actually looking to have these quail for meat birds they're more for fun and some eggs so I can enjoy watching them run around and be silly had quail before loved them and so I thought I'd do it again so of course I have too many we still have over 40 quail and um, they are growing by leaps and bounds 
So I will have to rehome a few of them as I figure out which ones are males and females. I can tell in a lot of them already. It's pretty easy to tell at this point. So this is going to be the setup. A tarp for the really cold days, but I do have them up against a wall. And then I deliberately set it up so that the back of the hutch faces north. And so they don't have a north wind blowing right on them on the wire. I just want to show you how big these guys have gotten. He is fully feathered now. He is crossed because I took him out away from his brethren. I think with all the pearl, this is actually probably a female, but it's hard to tell, I think, on this particular color variation because there's pearling all over the back too. So I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure I've got a female here. What do you think, baby? What do you think, are you a little girl? Huh? Yeah, they, they have grown. They are fully feathered. They'll get a little bit bigger. But this is basically what a Katornik square looks like at this point. Three weeks of age.